Hello, everyone. Last time, we used Wrap3D to retopologize a cartoon character mesh to fit a metahuman body mesh. This time, we will work on refining the topology flow and polishing it to make it cleaner. As you can see, the character shape roughly matches the original. However, the edge flow is a bit rough, so we will need to do some manual polishing work. First, create a brush node. Then, connect the wrapping result to the first input. Next, connect the original character mesh to the second input. Finally, connect the metahuman body mesh to the third input. Using this brush tool, you can refine the mesh within wrap, just like you would in ZBrush, utilizing various functionalities to achieve a polished result. Now, let's fine tune the brush parameters and start correcting around the eyes. Using the Relax Proj brush will allow you to paint the mesh according to the original character shape. If the Use Geodesic Distance option is enabled, the brush will only affect the surface it touches. If the option is disabled, the brush will affect the entire area within its reach. We need to be a bit more cautious when correcting the eyelids. It's important not to overcorrect after the initial wrapping to ensure compatibility with metahuman facial rigging later on. Let's make corrections while comparing with the original. For the eyelids, since the mesh flow is not flat, using the Relax Proj function alone can make polishing very difficult. As you continue using this tool, you'll notice that certain areas may consistently intersect with the inner mesh. While this tool is useful for closely following the shape of the original character, it is not particularly suitable for polishing the edge flow of the eyelids. So, in such cases, I first use the basic relax function to smooth out the edge flow. Of course, this will initially cause the shape to differ from the original. However, after smoothing the edge flow, you can use the relax proj or move proj function to restore the shape to some extent. By combining the relax function with other adjustments, you should be able to make some corrections. However, this task remains quite challenging. Please be especially careful when modifying the eyelid area. As mentioned earlier, if the edge flow is altered too much, it could cause issues with actions like blinking. Now, let's polish the other parts using a similar method. For the other parts, since there are many flat surfaces, you can use Relax Proj more extensively. For sharp areas or regions with extremely low polygons, it's sometimes better to avoid using Relax Proj. As you can see, the edge flow in the arm area isn't aligned properly with the front and back parts and is flowing diagonally. No matter how much you use Relax Proj, this won't fundamentally solve the issue. In such cases, you will likely need to use Move Proj in conjunction. Move Proj adjusts the current mesh's topology based on the shape of the original and move it to brush point. You can correct misaligned or problematic edge flows by utilizing both the Relax Proj and Move Proj functions. These are extremely useful tools in Wrap 3D, so feel free to use them actively when needed. Now, let's polish the remaining parts. Since the video moves quickly, feel free to pause it and refer to specific parts as needed. We are not modeling experts, and our modeling approach may be challenging for professional modelers or sculptors to apply. Additionally, for those new to 3D, this polishing process can be quite difficult. However, we aim to share a pipeline that users can at least follow to some extent.
Furthermore, our top priority is to convert the original modeling into a different topology for rigging purposes. During this process, it's crucial to ensure that there is no loss of the original character's shape. And later, through the tools we provide, you can even achieve the higher quality results than the original. Even if your main focus is solely on converting your character to metahuman topology, these tutorial videos will still be very helpful. All right, you've got it looking somewhat similar. Is retopology work finished now? No, it's not. We're not done yet. This character is the metahuman LOD3 mesh, right? We'll convert it back to LOD0 later. The reason we work on the lower LOD version first is that when we wrap the original character with the LOD0 mesh, if the original character is of medium polygon density, it will cause angles and square shapes to appear. First thing to do right now is to use the fixed symmetry feature to symmetrize the left and right sides. This feature is indeed one of the powerful tools provided by Wrap3D. It calculates the left and right sides of the mesh from various angles, making it easy to create accurate symmetrical alignment. If you want your character's body to be symmetrical but not the face, I recommend generating two versions, one with symmetrical alignment and one without. Later on, I'll teach you how to solve this issue using the tools we provide. Now, this model has been refined with the edge flow and symmetrical alignment. It's time to export this model as an OBJ. Create a save geom node and connect it. Click on Compute Current Frame to export it. Next time, I'll show you how to convert this LOD3 model to LOD0 using the Tuna tool. Thanks for watching.